What's up, you guys? It's Corey Lynx again. A friend of mine in Alabama was going around town job hunting today, and he came across a Jack's restaurant. When he tried to apply there, he was told, we don't hire faggots. This represents a very real problem that we as lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered individuals face in the working world here in America and other countries. We, there are certain uh, places that literally will not allow us to work. And it's really saddening and just so disturbing to me that at times we're faced to be nomads of sorts literally refugees that have to move to another town or even a state to work or to be treated equally, and that's not okay. Now, I understand that some of my friends out there are uh, fiscal conservatives or libertarians, and they support the right of a company to operate the way that it sees fit, and I understand that. I actually do I support private business rights, but at the same time, discrimination is wrong. It's stupid. It's stupid to tell somebody that they can't work because of their this color of their skin, and it's equally as stupid to uh, refuse to hire a potential good employee because they're gay. Some people would, you know, pass this off as simply, you know, oh, it's Alabama. You can expect that kind of thing in the South. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you're in the middle of Mississippi or if you're in New York City, it's never right to discriminate against somebody because of their sexual orientation. And it honestly pisses me off. I keep hearing about shit like this, you know? Recently there was a man up in Wisconsin who got beaten with a 2 by 4 for being gay outside of an Applebee's restaurant. Well, the Applebee's, that particular, the management of that particular store told him to leave, that he should, he should quit his job. It's just mind-boggling to me that we're still dealing with this in 2013. But back to business rights, a part of me wants to say, okay, well, if you want to discriminate, then you should have the right to. But another part of me wants my people to have the right to work, regardless of where you are and regardless of how people feel about you. People need to earn a paycheck. And I believe that Things like this need to be exposed. That's why I'm making this video about the Jack's restaurant chain, which is based in Homewood, Alabama. Because I want people to know that this is going on. I want people to think. You know, when, you, when something like this goes viral, it makes people wonder, you know, hmm, you know, I'm a decent person. Maybe I shouldn't support this company. Maybe I shouldn't eat there knowing what they're doing to people. The, things like this also have further consequences. Alabama, like Georgia, is a state where you can actually go to jail if you have a traffic fine that is unpaid. You get a warrant or a contempt charge, you either go to jail right then and there at your court date, or if you don't go to court, you get a fence warrant. That's also not okay. That's also something that our states need to end. But that happened to one of my friends. A lot of you on my Facebook know my good friend Samuel Peacock up in Huntsville. That very scenario happened to him. He spent six days in the Madison County Jail uh, with people who had committed acts of violence because he couldn't pay off a traffic ticket after a two-month grace period given him, to him on the initial court date. And that's what a lot of uh, LGBT people in states that allow debtors to be incarcerated have to face because we're, we're discriminated against when it comes to jobs, employment, and um, income, we're more likely to face scenarios like this because some bigoted Republican judge sees we're poor, we're young, and we're homosexual, and they want to discriminate against us. It's just, uh, share this. If you care, if you give a damn about the civil rights of LGBT Americans, share this story with other people. We need to spread this around. We need to get the news out that the Jack's Restaurant Company, based in Alabama, 
is actively discriminating against employees because of their sexual orientation, discriminating against potential employees. You never know when somebody's going to be a good worker, when somebody's going to be good for your business. But does this allow your store management to turn away people and call them derogatory slurs like faggot? That's fucking ridiculous. It needs to stop, and it needs to be exposed. That's pretty much all I have to say about that, and I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.